Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another car events video for you guys at Amelia Island, this time for the Concours event. Let's go around and see what kind of cool cars we can find here. I'm sure they're going to be beautiful, they're going to be perfect, so it'll be fun to see, and hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Let's see what's around. Motorcycles here. I'm not really into motorcycles too much, but hopefully some of you guys are, at least. I've never seen a car like that before. Ooh, this is a very special Porsche. I don't remember what this is called, but I believe this is the one that was kind of supposed to uh, compete against the Ferrari F40 at the time. A very fast car. This could have been the fastest car in the world when it was made. I believe that was the purpose of it. So, yeah, if you guys know more about this car than me, please let me know, but I think that's the history of this car. Ah, it is a CLK. Yeah, CLK GTR. This F40 was competing against that Porsche that I showed you guys a few minutes ago. Ooh, the C8R race cars over here, guys. This is really, really cool. Wow. Oh, this looks awesome in person. Sounds really cool, too. Uh, the engine in this car is going to be uh, supposedly in the Z06. Should be pretty powerful. Should be the Z06 should be more powerful than this car because this one's uh, held back by uh, uh, just for racing. Big intake there. That looks cool. Hopefully, hopefully this makes it to the Z06 because it looks sweet. Different style intake on the side than the regular Stingray. Wow. Have a C5R, I believe, if I'm right. Yep, C5R. Now this says Corvette on it. I guess it is a Corvette. Wow, I've never heard of this before. 1987 Corvette GTP. I have never heard of that before. couldn't help but move over from this lane to look at this Mercedes here. This is gorgeous. Oh, look at that wood. Mercedes. My dad helped me po help point this out to me, but apparently that lever there is used to disengage the steering wheel and it can be pushed off to the side to make it easier to get in and out of. Oh, this is beautiful. This would be amazing. Here's the uh, paper about the goal wing. You want to stop and read it? Mm -hmm. 
Just got to meet Ken Lingenfelter, who, and uh, he has a company that basically modifies engines just to make them more powerful. Uh, I think it might be specific General Motors uh, vehicles that he works on, so it was really cool to get to meet him and uh, get a photo with him. So it's amazing the kind of people that are here. Let's keep on walking around. Special shoes that my dad pointed out. from back in the day. The steering wheel is on the other side of the car. I'm surprised this being a Ford, it's on the right side. That's interesting. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not quite as much into the race cars. Um, I don't know why, but that's just not so much my thing necessarily like, like these Porsches. But let me know what you guys like in the comments if you do like those kind of cars or if you like the uh, maybe muscle cars or Cadillacs that we find. Uh, but just let me know in the comments and I'd love to hear what you guys say. This reminds me of some of the old James Bond movies. Very interesting looking Rolls Royce. Never seen one like this before. Oh. I've never seen a Rolls Royce before that looks a lot like a Woody. Kind of cool. This is really interesting looking. I like it. Looks almost like it flies. It's like a jet engine. That's so cool. Oh, look at that red velvet interior. That looks special. is supposed to look like the Monopoly board game piece. That is so cool. from the Duesenberg Auburn Museum, which is located in Auburn, Indiana, and that's where they also built the cords. Um, but they were really neat cars. Um, that's a really cool car, but it's a really fantastic museum. I've been there before once. My dad and I went there last Christmas, or during my Christmas break, and it was a really neat place. So I'll have to take you guys there sometime, but kind of cool to see that car from there. This over here is the uh, Duesenberg area. This is a car. A lot of really
really old electric cars here, which is, I think, really kind of cool. I haven't seen too many of those before. Pretty amazing. I think up here is where they do most of the judging for the show. Let's see if I can get a quick shot for you guys to show it off. I do not know how to drive this car. I could not do it. To tell you guys the truth, I don't think I've ever seen Hispano Suizas before. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but they're really pretty looking cars. This looks very futuristic. Much trunk space once the uh, put the top down. I will. I'm sure you will. This is a beautiful Lincoln. Love the interior. Very nice. Oh, that's a neat mirror. Wow. Might also be a spotlight, looks like. Pretty cool. Pontiac. That'd be great. The doctor's car. You know, you have to realize at that time, Very pretty. Impella. Wow. I like that steering wheel, that is cool. DeSoto, these are cool. A couple people in our Cadillac club, they have a blue DeSoto. Very pretty car. This is really, really nice. This is a different era. Theirs is, I think, maybe from the late 40s, maybe early 50s. I can't quite remember. This is obviously a different era, uh, uh, newer than that, but um, still very pretty. Never seen a top like that before. Only partial, at least on this era. Wow, I love that dashboard. That beautiful red. I do really, really like the looks of this era of Continental. That's gorgeous. And that blue, oh. My dad helped point this out to me, thank goodness for him. He saw that the um, air conditioning came out of the ceiling for the passengers and the driver in this car in the Continental. Very cool engineering feature. What's interesting is the placard in front of the car there said that this Lincoln, um, first of all, technically isn't a Lincoln since it was made by the Continental Division. Um, so it's not technically a Lincoln, which is interesting, I never knew that, but um, it's also really interesting that they also lost money on every single one of these cars that were built, and that's very similar to the Eldorado Brome or Britzes from this era too. Um, those are also handmade by Cadillac, and they were basically competing against Ford to try and make the most luxurious car, but also for, you know, 
a very expensive price at the time, but uh, it's really cool to see this car here and to uh, compare it to other Cadillacs that we've seen before. Um, that we've seen before on the channel, like the black and silver one that I showed you guys the other day. Um, really cool cars, really beautiful. Alright guys, so I made it through the entirety of the Amelia Island Concourse Show. Um, I've never been to anything like this before, I've never seen anything like this, never seen cars as beautiful and as nice as this and as unique. Um, so I'm so glad that I was able to actually record this stuff for you guys and to have it on YouTube because you know, most people never get to see cars like this. And I'm very fortunate to have been able to have done this today and uh, throughout the whole time going to these shows. But um, thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate your support and uh, I love doing this stuff on the channel. Um, it really means the world to me to have you guys watch it for me and uh, um, to actually even leave comments and just stuff like that. It always just makes my day. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.